Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers, general and banking. This is for 39th week from 21st to 27th September. And from this week onwards, a small module on a new set of glands will be there. And that new set of glands module will be of around 10 minutes duration. And I am including some news which we could not cover in either of the four modules. That means in questions and answers, banking and general or questions and answers advanced. Some of the items we are not able to cover in those questions and answers and such news items will be presented as a separate module that will be fifth module and the name of the module will be new set of glands. Uh, so, every week you will have five modules from this week onwards. Right? So, look at the first question. Name the country which holds the highest foreign exchange reserves and the highest foreign exchange reserves are held by China. Please don't forget, China is followed by Japan, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan and Brazil and the positions of 3rd, 4th, 5th may change but China is much ahead of other countries and it holds highest foreign exchange reserves because its economy is predominantly export oriented because of its manufacturing base in the country. Look at the next one, RBI clarified that no proceedings will be initiated under Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. Why I asked this question is, recently the central government announced compliance window for the people who come forward with declaration of assets held abroad before implementing the Black Money Act, central government gave time up to September 30, that is called compliance window, to disclose foreign assets. And RBI clarified, when persons are disclosing foreign assets under compliance window, Foreign Exchange Management Act will not be applicable. That means, no proceedings will be initiated against the persons who declare assets under compliance window and the question here is Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 came into effect from 1st June 2000, please don't forget. India's permanent representative at the United Nations, sometimes he is called ambassador to United Nations or diplomat in United Nations, the top diplomat in United Nations and Permanent representative at the United Nations is now Ashok Kumar Mukherjee, please don't forget. And India's ambassador to United States of America is Arun Singh. Why I asked this question is because of the Prime Minister's recent visit to United Nations and United States of America. Under Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, government wants to impart training to 24 lakh youth. All of you are well aware, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana is for skill development and government plans to impart skills to 24 lakh youth under this Pradhan Mandri Kaushal Vikas Yojana with a total cost of rupees 1500 crores of rupees and average monetary reward per month per person is rupees 8000. Please don't forget. Hridai cities or towns. You may ask what is Hridai? Hridai is Heritage City Development and Augmentation Yojana. This Hridai cities and towns, 12 cities or towns are nominated. And these are being developed at a cost of rupees 500 crores and the program is to be completed by March 2017 as stated by the Ministry of Urban Development. Please don't forget, Hrudai program is being monitored by the Ministry of Urban Development and the Minister is Ankaya Naidu. Please don't forget. Prasad, Prasad is pilgrimage, rejuvenation and spiritual augmentation drive. Pilgrimage, Rejuvenation and a Spiritual Augmentation Drive and this is implemented by Ministry of Tourism, please don't forget. The previous program what we have discussed that is Hridai, Hridai is implemented by Ministry of Urban Development and Prasad is implemented by the Ministry of Tourism, please don't forget. Which of the following announced that they will exit India private banking business that is the Royal Bank of Scotland. This uh, Royal Bank of Scotland is uh, owned by United Kingdom and United Kingdom recently took a decision that it will be privatized in due course of time 
and now rbs decided to exit from india private banking business and rbs is uk based banking company nism is the educational initiative of securities and exchange board of india nism is basically established with a view to educate the persons with regard to the literacy in capital markets and debt markets with a view to impart education in capital markets or you can say the financial instruments literacy is a must then only they can take right decisions and this nism is national institute of securities markets this is the initiative of securities and exchange board of india please don't forget which of the following is created to promote a national agriculture market at a cost of rupees 200 crore we have discussed several times this is agri tech infrastructure fund so as to develop 585 mandis to the level of e mandis this agri tech infrastructure fund was created with rupees 200 crores please don't forget the government wants to develop 585 mandis and they want to connect them electronically and with regard to the other options, I would like to tell you, smile was created with a corpus of rupees, 10,000 crores and it is monitored by SIDB and IAF, India Aspiration Fund is created with a corpus of rupees 2,000 crore and NIIF, that is National Investment and Infrastructure Fund is going to be created shortly as announced in the budget with an allotment of rupees 20,000 crores. Please don't forget these figures. RBI advised all the public sector banks, five private sector banks. What are the five private sector banks? These five are ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, Axis Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Indusin Bank, and three foreign banks, Standard Chartered, HSBC and Citibank to nominate Chief Customer Service Officer or CCSO. He will be internal ombudsman. He will act as internal ombudsman so as to give better service to the customers. The presence of representatives of DCITS. All of you are well aware, two banks were nominated by RBI as a DCIPS and they have to maintain more capital adequacy. Probably SBI is to maintain 0.6% higher capital adequacy and ICICI Bank is to maintain 0.2% higher capital adequacy and time frame is also given and these two banks representatives, the representatives of these two banks will be there in the joint lenders forum before any loan account goes into stress when the loan is given by consortium of banks before it goes bad there is a mechanism of joint lenders forum and recently rbi gave instructions to make it mandatory to include representatives from dcb banks Right? So, the answer here is JLF means Joint Lenders Forum. That is the mechanism to look at the stress in the loans. Right? As per the constitution of Nepal, the constitution was enacted on 20th September 2015 by Nepal and the national animal of Nepal will be cow. Please don't forget. All of us are well aware that RBI deregulated savings bank interest rates from 25th October 2011 and banks can provide a differential rate of interest for deposits above rupees 1 lakh. Below rupees 1 lakh, it should be same interest. If banks are giving 4%, it should be 4% if you are depositing 1000 or if you are depositing 99000. But beyond 1 lakh, Banks can differentiate in the interest rates depending on the value. If somebody is depositing 2 lakhs of rupees, they can give one interest. And if somebody is depositing 20 lakhs of rupees, they can give more interest. So, banks can differentiate in the interest rates when the amount exceeds rupees 1 lakh. Please don't forget. The year of the runaways. 
was shortlisted for 2015's Man Booker Prize. About the Man Booker Prize, we discussed several times in previous lectures and this the year of runaways was shortlisted for 2015's man booker prize and the author of this book is sanjeev sahota please don't forget there was a lot of public outcry i think most of you are using one of one or the other social media all of you are well aware there was a lot of public outcry when the government released the draft guidelines which made mandatory to store all social media messages for 90 days that means this social media message is required to be stored up to 90 days and the government because of public outcry subsequently withdrawn the draft encryption policy. First India-US strategic and commercial dialogue was held in Washington DC. India's external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj and commerce minister Nirmala Sitaraman participated in the meeting and United States of America stressed for speeding up economic reforms, improving ease of doing business index. Government is trying hard to improve ease of doing business and at present we stand at 142. Government wants to bring it to less than 50 and for protecting intellectual property rights. Look into the next one. Panda bonds are denominated in yuan. This panda bonds are yuan denominated bonds. And likewise, masala bonds are rupee denominated bonds. Samurai bonds are yen denominated bonds. Please don't forget. Vaila Davis became the first black to win the Emmy Award for Best Actress and these are the awards given for television industry and I listed four awards here. Please don't forget these are world famous awards. Emmy Awards are given for television industry. Tony Awards are given for uh, theatre artists. Grammy Awards are given in music. Oscar Awards or Academy Awards are given for films. Let me repeat once again, Emmy Awards are given for television industry, Tony Awards are given for theatre, Grammy Awards are given for music, Oscar Awards are given for films, please don't forget. Which of the following launched India's first credit enhanced infrastructure bond? Credit enhanced infrastructure bonds were recently launched by IIFCL. Some Renew Wind Energy Limited launched these bonds at a value of rupees 451 crores. What is the meaning of credit enhanced bonds? The guarantee is given by some firm. Here, IIFCL is giving the guarantee and the counter guarantee is being given by ADB. So, the credit enhancement that means persons, the investors will have better confidence when the bonds are credit enhanced. When somebody is giving guarantee, then it will boost investors' confidence. So, recently, India's first credit enhanced infrastructure bonds were launched with a guarantee from IIFCL and Renew Wind Energy Limited launched bonds for Rs. 451 crore. Right, banking hutke is the tagline of IDFC Bank. IDFC Bank is going to start its operations from 1st October with 23 branches and Rajiv Lal is going to be the head of IDFC Bank. Right friends, elections to Bihar are being held in 5 phases, 243 assembly constituencies, 5 phases. Look into the next one. There is a lot of controversy with regard to Madhesis and Tarus while framing the constitution. They are said to be heard while delineating the provinces. And there are some other demands from Madhesis and Tarus. And the country we are talking about is Nepal. Name the country where the Prime Minister is called Tishok. Republic of Ireland. Why I asked this question is the Prime Minister recently visited Republic of Ireland and there the head of the state or head of the government is Enda Kenny. Right? Please look into the next one. Uninor changed its brand name to Telinor. Recently Uninor announced that it is changing the brand name to 
Telenor and Telenor is the telecom company based in Norway. Please don't forget. Indian ambassador to United States of America is Arun K. Singh. Name the G4 countries. G4 countries recently the summit was held and G4 countries were basically formed with a view to have permanent membership in United Nations Security Council and this group was formed in 2005 and the countries are India, Brazil, Germany and Japan and they are staking a claim for permanent membership in United Nations Security Council. Please don't forget. Swami Dayananda Saraswati passed away recently. His ashram is located in Rishikesh and his original name pre-monastic days his name was Manjakudi Natarajan and he is the disciple of Swami Chinmayananda. He passed away recently. Name the country with whom agreement was reached by Colombia to defuse the tension along the 2200 kilometers border. With regard to Colombia, please don't forget, Colombia signed a peace treaty with FARC rebels and at the same time, an agreement was reached to defuse the tensions between Venezuela and Colombia and Venezuela has got 2200 kilometers of border with Colombia and both the countries came to an understanding recently. As on March 31, 2015, India's external debt stood at around 476 billion dollars. Figures are not sacrosanct. Why I asked this question is, India's external debt is around 476 billion dollars and it is around 23 percent of our GDP. Our GDP is around 2 trillion dollars and our external debt is around 23 percent of GDP. Second important point is, out of total external debt, external commercial borrowing or ECB is the highest and the second highest is NRA deposits, right? And out of this external debt, most dangerous is a short term debt. But for India, the short term debt is not much high and it is lesser than 100 billion dollars. That's why we are safe from the foreign exchange front. Maharashtra government acquired 2050 square feet three story bangla in King Henry Road, London for a value of 31 crores of rupees. This is the place where Dr. B. R. Ambedkar lived during 1920-21 when he was pursuing his education in London School of Economics and Maharashtra government wants to convert it into a museum in the memory of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. There are 12 major ports in the country, please don't forget. And these 12 major ports are under the Ministry of Shipping, Government of India. And the target for 2015-16 for cargo handling is 695 million tons. And last year they achieved 581 million tons of cargo. And 11 awards in 7 different fields were announced for Santi Swaroop Bhatnagar awards. And these are given by CSIR. CSIR is the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. And this every year announces these awards. Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar, first chairman of University Grants Commission, as well as first head of CSIR, in his memory, these awards were instituted probably in the year 1958. And these are given in seven disciplines. And the each award carries rupees 5 lakh and this is given to the persons up to 45 years of age and for the award is please look into this PPT. Right friends with this let us conclude this questions and answers general and banking. Please do join for news at a glance. I would like to take only 10 minutes for presenting news at a glance. Right friends have a nice day. Thank you.